Donetsk region, the air temperature is over 30 degrees Celsius. The burning sun has dried out the front roads and they became passable. Now we can be traveling here at high speed, avoiding encounters with the enemy drones. We don't always see everything. Some people look and say that the sky is clear, while others will see it somewhere flying. So we try to get through quickly. So we're going fast. Well, not slow. Most of the way to the artilleryman's position we travel in a combat vehicle, but at some point we have to go by foot. The fighters say it is safer this way, as Russians often hunt for vehicles traveling to firing positions. There was an aerial attack here. They shot so hard that the door to the dugout opened. The dugout was full of dust, but as always everyone was positive, just laughing about that. Most of the time, with the exception of combat work, the artillerymen are in cover. During the two hours of our cruise visit, there were about five warnings about the presence of an enemy drone in the sky at the position of this combat unit. We immediately interrupted filming and moved into cover. The guys right now get information about Russian Lancet. That's why we have to be very close to shelter. And maybe it's better to be inside the shelter. There is something flying overhead? Yes, an Orlan UAV. An Orlan, then let's take cover. At night, warriors hardly sleep at all, fulfilling one combat mission after another. During the day, there is plenty of work, too. They admit that they have already got used to the constant shelling, but it is the drones that hinder their work most of the time. They monitor us very closely, 24-7. As soon as we plan to go out and show ourselves at work, we hear that there are already some UAVs flying above us. The artillery unit works with a 122mm Hovasar D30. They say the gun is old, but they don't want to change it for anything. The guys also say that they have enough shells at the moment. It can be used both as an explosive and fragmentation device, so it depends on the detonator. If you lift the lid, it goes off in fragments, but with the lid on, it goes off as high explosive. The fighters have different goals. In the Bahmut direction, enemy attacks continue without stop, and often among the artillery's combat tasks is the elimination of Russian attack aircraft. They are constantly changing their tactics, working in large groups and then in small ones. They move one by one or two at a time. Time, trying to hide somewhere, they choose a spot, gather and try to attack from there. We mostly deal with manpower. Do you have time to work on a moving group? Of course. While on duty at firing positions for days on end, Ukrainian defenders distract themselves from the war with humor, recalling funny stories from their lives or joking with their fellow soldiers. And some find relief in singing. <laughs> We never managed to listen to the song till the end. The artillerymen are given a combat mission, and in a couple of minutes the gun is ready for battle. Cannon, fire! What did you shoot at? Manpower. Is it accurate? Let's hope so. After striking the target, the servicemen go into cover and we leave our firing positions to avoid being hit by enemies' return fire. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Alena Gramova, Yevgen Karmazin, UATV News.